Hello and welcome. So today I'm going to walk you through a little experiment I've done with my PC here. This is the Evo X2 uh, from GMK Tech. This is a mini PC. But in this video, we're going to talk about Linux gaming. And I know that there's been lots of coverage on Linux gaming lately and the fact that it's so easy now and so simple and so quick to jump in. So here's going to be a video diary. We'll do this episode by episode. All of my little uh, adventures to trying to get Linux gaming working on, you know, multiple different PCs here. And we'll talk about how the ease, uh, what is the actual ease of doing so so first things first you got to resize your windows partition if we're going to install something side by side we're going to do this in a dual boot approach later on we'll move to an approach of installing dedicatedly onto an entire pc's drive without any windows operating system but the first channel your channel challenge you'll run into here is that windows uses the entire ssd kind of sporadically and puts unmovable files towards the end of the partitions which means you have to go through a bunch of sleuthing to try to figure out by disabling the virtual page file the virtual memory uh, you know deleting any temporary files deleting your restore points to be able to get that uh, data to be recoverable or excuse me that that space to be recoverable so that you can actually shrink the drive to make use of that space that you'd want for your new partition now that said once that challenge alone has been handled you'll then be able to resize your partition down i would advise that you use at least 300 or 350 gigabytes for your uh, Linux gaming partition here the the and the the Linux uh, Distribution that we're going to try to do here for gaming is you know What's been very very popular in the tech scene right now, which is Bazite and Bazite is a a, a Fedora based uh, distribution and Fedora is the Red Hat uh, backed uh, You know Linux distribution here, so it's gonna have a pretty solid and stable uh, You know base and then on top of that Nvidia driver steam proton Lutris and all of the other customizations that you you need to be able to run multiple different uh, launchers and multiple different game systems should be pre-installed so once we've got through that trouble here there's one challenge i want to point out here particularly as you see i couldn't get the evo x2 to boot into the bios using a uh, usb connected keyboard with the front port i had to actually correct connect it around the back in order to finally be able to get it however in this instance you see here that i was able to get it to boot into the bios from the front port it's not consistent for the best results use one of the usb ports on the rear to get this thing to boot up into the actual bios from there you can then select the boot uh, device luckily and thankfully by default if you plug in a usb here that has something that's installable or bootable such as bazite here this is the bazite installer that you're seeing you can actually get the evo x2 to boot directly to that usb drive without having to go into the bios and you know switch the boot order or whatnot so that was something that i learned i think it's you know a neat little trick worth knowing and as you see here, I'm going through the partition setup using, uh, you know, the Bazite GUI here as recommended in the documentation. I'm creating three particular drives here. We've created an EFI partition about 300 megabytes. We've created a swap partition about 16 gigs here. And then the rest of the space here on that shrunk drive has been dedicated to the actual root operating system. So Bazite runs through the install. It is a little slow. It does take quite a bit of time as opposed to Ubuntu. Ubuntu seems to be much faster for the installation. I'm not sure why this installer uh, based on fedora it takes a little bit longer but it does however once it's gone through the installer here you know we ran into our first uh, first problem of of the day if you will our first problem of this episode which is this dreaded code one error here so this basically says i you know and i did lots of sleuthing around this issue there really doesn't seem to be uh, an easy resolution everybody was kind of recommending different strategies but the one commonality i saw was that you know perhaps i had tried to install fedora on this pc prior and then in those partitions that have been created for Bazite, I left, uh, you know, Fedora configuration in the in the EFI uh, in the EFI partition. However, that proved not to be true. So I had to go through here, uh, read, read online some forums, how to resolve this error. This is a very common error. And it's actually directed uh, or directly pointed at by the Bazite website. If you're looking at troubleshooting tips and if you're looking at then, you know, help steps on how to actually get this OS installed, you'll be able to find a link to a video that actually talks about this particular dreaded code one error and how to resolve it. I followed all those steps multiple times. Here you see me rebooting a few 
different times to try to get into uh, batch edit again now because it does it fails to uh, you know complete the installation it doesn't actually install the bootloader you don't get grub so you don't get a bootloader selection at the beginning here and here I'm trying to change the different uh, boot orders for different devices in the uh, BIOS I've got to say that you know this is one of the most unintuitive BIOS uh, setups I've seen for managing boot order priority with devices in the Evo X2 BIOS I've never had this much trouble configuring that but luckily if you go over to the exit scene you see here there, there's a boot override menu and it shows that Fedora is present if you go to that selection it's basically like a bootloader selector even though grub isn't installed into our normal partition we can use that boot selector and apologies for all of the out of focus issues my camera was just not having a good day there uh, I do have a macro macro lens on order. Hopefully, I'll be able to resolve that for these types of videos in the future. I hope to do much more coverage on Linux, uh, Linux gaming, and just you know moving away from Windows in general, which means I'll need often to be able to show you guys what's happening on the screen. And I love this overhead kind of view where you get to see the surroundings and what's happening as well as what's on the display as well, because in certain cases like this, it's not so easy and simple to capture the display. So after going through that rigmarole followed by, you know, based on the instructions, and the tips I went through I deleted that Fedora folder from the EFI partition here I'm repeating the entire Bazite boot uh, uh, or installer process again after having deleted those partitions you just saw that I deleted and recreated new partitions we go through the setup here for Bazite and yet again you know we'll see here that after the installation runs for you know a couple of minutes we run into that dreaded code one error again so at this point I was starting to get a little frustrated I went online searched some more forums again say okay what is the actual cause of this code uh, uh, code one error and it has to do with the actual installer again apologies for the blurry footage but there really isn't much to see here other than the fact that you know some error message is being reported in the terminal um, but here I am basically attempting to kind of troubleshoot what's going on here. So I went to the boot prompt using Control Alt F2. You can actually boot from the GUI. You can toggle into a command prompt into a TTY terminal, and you can press Control Alt F6 to go back into the GUI uh, installer for Bazite. So here I am going into the, uh, the AFI folder, checking, for instance, uh, for a presence of that Fedora folder again, which is dreaded. I don't know why it leaves that folder behind because it fails. I believe this is Bazite failing upon itself. So when it fails, to install initially what does it do it leaves behind an incomplete fedora folder and the next time you boot and try to install bazite it says oh wait you already have a fedora instance on the efi partition i can't do anything here you need to remove that and reattempt to install it again which is very interesting because i've never installed fedora or bazite on this particular mini pc this is the first time ever from a virgin system taking a usb that i you know uh, copied and made into a bootable usb for bazite and running through the installer for the first time i have not disabled security Secure boot. I have not made any other modifications to my BIOS because Bazite is supposed to be able to handle secure boot. And sometimes the easiest thing to do here is just to reboot your system. So I indeed tried that because sometimes the, the solution is the easiest solution that you would miss rather than going into this hardcore troubleshooting. Uh, however, I attempted this a couple of different times here without much luck. I was not able to get this issue to resolve. And uh, finally, after some more sleuthing and looking at different forums and trying different techniques, I tried multiple times to install I even went in and I installed or sorry rebuilt my USB my bootable USB because I thought I had used the wrong system and indeed I had I was using the ISO for the Nvidia drivers I don't see why that would have caused an issue however at this point I've now redone my bootable USB for Bazite with the AMD version for uh, you know for this particular OS so after that I was able to reboot I had the same issue with the code one again I went through redeleted those partitions from the EFI and after that I was able to boot into installer go through the installation again do all of the repartitioning and i ran into the same issue yet again so you'll see here that you know after a few other things in the configuration i deleted and recreated the partitions every time which means when it's written the uh to the disk here it should not have those partitions remaining and that means there should be nothing present in the efi partition that i was creating every time that would state that there's something about fedora being present on this system so as you can see here that this was not a successful experience after going through a few different times here trying to get bazite to install i was not able to get this installed on my evo x2 mini pc here's that code one error again 
So I decided to give up for this round and we're going to switch over our distribution. So instead of Bazite, what we're going to use, use is uh, something based on Ubuntu. I've had very good luck with Ubuntu and Kubuntu. So the, in the next episode here, we're going to show you how to use Kubuntu to get that installed and see if we can get some uh, Linux gaming happening on Kubuntu and how difficult it is to go through that process. But in any case, if you're enjoying this kind of diary in this video series, please give a like, please click subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you'd like to support the channel, you know, check out the descriptions below for the products I review. I always try to provide uh, links and description code or d discount code so you can save a little bit of money when you purchase. And of course, if you'd like to support the channel a little bit further, click uh, consider click uh, buying me a coffee using the link in the description below. Uh, thanks very much for watching. We'll be continuing this series. So we'll see you in the next episode.